<laughs> okay, so you received the samples? Yeah, we have them. Yes, you have? Okay, great. We look. Hola. Okay, okay, so I have uh, same. Uh, exactly the same. Huh? We, yeah, just uh, to try to taste the same wine, even if. Well, I'm excited. To try yes, we are. We are too very excited. Okay, so, so what's your maybe, what, Philippe, What's your impression of the 2019 vintage? Uh, uh, first, I think it's a really unique vintage. Uh, of course, at each one uh, is unique, but uh, especially this one, I think it's a uh, uh, it's a combination of uh, of concentration, of course, because we had a wonderful summer, uh, and then. Uh, you know, before we picked the Cabernet Sauvignon, we had a, a, a little rain of uh, 30 millimeters. And then the vintage changed completely. I think 19 was very similar to 18 until mid-September. And, uh, and I was sure, okay, we will do another 18 vintage. And, uh, and then the rain changed completely the style of the wine. And to be honest, uh, I was afraid, you know, because when it uh, starts raining, we never know if... Uh, if the rain will stop and uh, and if the botrytis will uh, will appear, so uh, so I didn't know uh, end of September what kind of vintage we will uh, we will make. And then uh, when we tasted uh, the first uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, we realized that probably the rain was very positive and uh, balanced the grapes and balanced the, the wines. A and today we can. Uh, we are sure that the rain was, uh, yes, a very, very good thing to, uh, to, to make a very balanced, fresh and complex wine and probably a, a classic wine. Even if we have a high level of concentration, I think it's much uh, more classic than, than 18, for example. And what, do, if you had to compare it to another vintage, is there a vintage that comes to mind? Yeah, it's, it's very, uh, as usual, I think it's, of course, we have the numbers, you know, the level alcohol, the alcohol level, and then uh, the IPT, the pH, so we, we can compare. And then we'll, it's more, maybe more important, the emotion we, we had when we tasted uh, vintages in Primer. And so for myself, I think it's uh, uh, 09 is one vintage, uh, that I can compare with 19 because uh, I had exactly the same impression on the palate about the texture. I think when I, I remember tasting the 09 in 10 and I was so impressed by the, the, the texture that uh, was so creamy. You know, it's a very specific impression of uh, when the density is so high that uh, you have the impression that the wine is solid a little bit at the beginning, you know, and then uh, it's, uh, of course, it's uh, so unctuous, uh, and, and then it disappears on the, on, on, the, on the palate, and you have just the perfume. So, and in 19, compared to 09, we have the freshness in addition, because I think 09 was more opulent and uh, riper and a little bit, uh, yeah, I would say, of course, it's always, um, it's not so negative, but more heavier than uh, 19. 19, at the same time, is so elegant and light, you know, in, uh, in perfume. And so it's a reason that uh, I also compare 19 with, six, with uh, 96, because 96, to me, was also probably the first vintage with a very pure nose of Cabernet Sauvignon, very unctuous, very easy to drink, uh, and the Sour Chateau Margaux at the same time. So it's, uh, yeah, it's something, but we have a much higher concentration than 96, of course, in 19. Okay. And then we can, yeah, many people talk about, you know, 15, 16, or 9, 10 as well, you know, of course. But for sure, 19 is a great vintage for sure. It's a great wine for, for us. Yeah, I have, I have to agree. I've tasted about 700 wines so far. Yes. And I'm impressed uh, by the quality. I think it's on the same level as 18, and then it depends on the specific vineyard or chateau, but it's yes. certainly a uh, more classic styled wine than uh, 2018. 
and uh, so many beautiful wines from simple Bordeaux or Cru Bourgeois to top Chateau. So an excellent year. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's a different style for sure than 18, but, uh, but to, to me, if I have to just compare 17, 18, 19, the last three vintages when I, I came back to Chateau Margaux, I'm sure I, I will prefer 19. I think it's 19 is, has everything to me. He, he has, uh, you know, the style of Chateau Margaux, the, ele- the expected elegance, uh, balance, complexity, length, and, uh, Hopefully, the one will be beautiful all the time. You know, it's something you can open when you want, probably in five years, in 10 years, and also in 50 years. So it's, uh, I, I am, yeah, I am very optimistic with this, uh, with this vintage. Fantastic. Let's, uh, so we start off with the Pavillon Rouge then, the second wine of Margot. Yes, so Pavillon Rouge uh, represents uh, 27% of the crop and uh, so it's a, a blend of uh, 76% Cabernet Sauvignon, 19% Merlot, 2% Cabernet Franc and 3% Petit Verdot. And so it was, so we picked the best Merlot the 18th of uh, September, so before the rain. And uh, so, the, of course, the Merlot we made uh, were very uh, uh, concentrated, opulent, uh, ripe. And then, uh, after the rain, we picked the, the Cabernet Sauvignon between the 1st and the 10th of October. And, uh, and then, of course, the blend is a combination of both. And uh, I, think it's a, I think we have a wonderful Pavillon Rouge uh, because we have... A, a, it's full bodied. I think it's really uh, invasive in a, on the palate, and uh, and we have the freshness, the uh, the complexity of the nose. I think it's one of the best Pavillon Rouge, uh, very similar to a first wine. It's very savory, yeah. so, uh, or sapid, you say, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, sapid. Yeah. And like you said, it's crazy but it has this savoriness and uh, supple tannins that you, you, you almost, and it's almost a little bit salty too, that you almost want to drink it already. It's so yes. good. Yeah, in the end, you know, at yes. this level of uh, concentration, but, uh, but the end is very fresh and we have the palate full of saliva. So yeah. It's not stringent at all. Yeah, and it's so perfumed on the palate. It's very expressive. Um, yeah, very aromatic. In terms of uh, representing 27% of the crop, is that pretty normal for a um, top vintage? Yes. Uh, today, you know, for the last five, five years, Pavillon Rouge is between 22 and 30%. So 27 is, uh, yeah, it's, it's the average now. Well, I would say, and uh, something I didn't tell you, but it's also we we had, a, you know, the f- flowering was the beginning of June and in very good conditions, and so we had a very good uh, uh, yield, so which is uh, 47 hectoliters per hectare. So compared to uh, 17, 18, uh, we have uh, more wine than the last two years, and uh, so we are also happy with, of course, with the quantity. So we will have more Pavillon Rouge and Chateau Margaux in the last two years. Excellent. Okay, let's try the Grand Vin now then. Yes. So the first wine is 37% of, uh, of the production. And uh, the composition is 90% Cabernet Sauvignon, 7% Merlot, 2% Cabernet Franc and 1% Petit Verdot. It's really solid, very tight and yeah. dense, but at the same time, not heavy. 
analytically, how does it compare in terms of um, concentration of tannins and um, fruit? So the, the two wines are very uh, close during uh, analysis. So first is the alcohol level. So for Pavillon Rouge, it's uh, 14.2. And for Chateau Margaux, it's 13.9. Of course, it's due to the quantity of Merlot we, we, we put in each blend. So, uh, but uh, this level of alcohol shows the level of concentration of the grapes, of course. It was very high. And so we are almost at the same level as 18. For the uh, IPT, uh, which uh, measures the quantity of tannins, so in both wines, we are at 75, so which is uh, higher than uh, everything except 18. So uh, 18 was higher than that at uh, more than 80, but uh, 75 uh, is higher than uh, vintages like uh, 15, 16, 9, or 10. So this shows, yeah, the very high level of concentration. And what is amazing is that at this level, but uh, what, what first we, we, we notice is just the freshness and the aromas and the, uh, the creaminess. It, it's not the concentration. So, so this is very uh, uh, amazing to, to, have, uh, to have both uh, I agree. Concentration and, yeah, and charm at the same time. It's very charming. I had to actually swallow it. Yeah. I wanted yeah. to see what it was like. Yeah. Mm. And it's amazing how it's, it, uh, it's not aggressive in any way. It's yeah. just solid and tight, sort of ethereal. Absolutely. And another thing very important so is also the pH. So the pH of the two wines uh, is uh, 3.66, so which is lower than the average, and we, which uh, is a surprise also for us because after the summer, uh, quite hot and dry, and so we expected a higher pH. And then we finished with a pH at 3.66, which is much lower than what we had in 18. And, and so I think this pH gives the, um, the dynamic of the wine, you know, so the, a lot of life uh, and uh, of life. And so uh, I think the pH, thanks to the quality of tannins, give at the same time this uh, density and freshness. Uh, I think uh, I think it's very well, when you have very good tannins, I think it's good to to feel them to uh, uh, to. F and you cannot touch them, but you can feel the, the quantity of tannins. They are so fine. So, uh, and pH is probably a key also for the balance and, uh, and for the feeling we have. Well, thanks for the tasting. I must say, as you said, the balance and harmony in the 2019 Mar Margot is really fantastic. I really like how the tannins just flow into the wine. Yes. And it has this density, but at the same time, there's this lightness to it. And there's real, real purity of fruit in the wine, which I think comes through from the um, extraordinary quality of the Cabernet. And I think it's exciting that it's under 14 degrees alcohol. So you, that also is, uh, is significant, how it's rich, but also extremely fresh and, and not heavy in alcohol. So... Yeah. Great wine. And I, I think it's really uh, what we expect from a Chateau Margaux. So, um, you know, I think before being a 19 vintage, it will be, uh, it will be Chateau Margaux. Uh, Excellent. Really a, a perfect Chateau Margaux, I would say. <laughs> okay, Philippe, donc, uh, merci beaucoup. Thanks for, the, thanks for the tasting. And okay. always a pleasure to taste with you. And uh, the 19s are, at, are beautiful wines. Thank you. Thank you for your time, and oh, hopefully to see you, you uh, to see you at the estate. Okay. My best to everyone, Corinne, and everyone else. Okay. Okay, Monami. See. James. Bye bye. Bye, chum.